Hi everyone, my name is Nina and I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day as a vegan ballet dancer. I'm Allison Powell, I'm a vegan ultra runner and I am going to show you everything I eat in one day with a long run. I'm Alex Teixeira, I'm here to share with you what I eat in a day as a vegan bodybuilder. What I eat honestly changes on a day-to-day -day basis depending on my energy needs and activity level, which fluctuates a lot in ballet, especially if you're in a performing season or not. Although I like to stick to whole foods as much as possible when I can because I feel I dance my best and feel my best when I do. For breakfast, I made a simple oatmeal bowl topped with nuts and fruit. I'm beginning by bringing a pot of water to a boil. I'll add in my oats and let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oatmeal is one of my favorite breakfasts because it keeps me full for a long time and helps keep my energy balanced for an hour and a half to two hour ballet class. After the oats have finished cooking, I add them to a bowl and top with banana, raspberries, strawberries, almond butter, walnuts, and finish it off with some cinnamon. And I typically eat this after I finished a light workout, just some strength and conditioning exercises in the morning, which I'll just have some coffee with my favorite dairy-free creamer beforehand. I also bring snacks with me. They're good to have when I don't have much time in between a class. Here I brought a Go Macro bar and I made a small protein drink that I just shake up with some almond milk and my favorite vegan protein powder. For breakfast, I made peanut butter toast with blackberries. Before my run, I'll usually eat half a banana, a spoonful of peanut butter, so I have energy to get me started. And on my long runs, I'll bring Tailwind, which is already vegan and gluten-free endurance fuel, vegan gel, and usually a Luna bar. When I get back from my run, I love to make a protein shake so I can get some quick calories, some protein, and I'm usually pretty tired, so I'll just mix that up in some water and drink it right away. On my long run days, like today, I'll be going about 15 miles. So I'm pretty hungry when I get back. And my typical breakfast is at least three slices of toast with lots and lots of peanut butter, extra calories, extra protein, extra fat. It's really filling and delicious. And I love topping it off with fresh berries. I try and eat pretty much whole foods, few ingredients, and this is a really great way to add some sweetness to your morning. And I totally love it. So for breakfast, I had avocado toast and a protein smoothie. I actually have the same thing post-workout as well. I tend to eat my fruit in the morning and to kind of taper off for the rest of the day. Always some chia seeds. Chia seeds are great. I put a vegan protein powder, some oats. So next, we're gonna bake the bread for the avocado toast. I like to use Ezekiel bread or anything whole wheat. I think that whole wheat has so many benefits to it. Just smash that up with a fork, add some raw pumpkin seeds as well, and there you go. Nice and nutritious breakfast. For lunch, I'm going to be making a miso maple harvest bowl. I'm starting off preparing my roasted vegetables by coating chopped sweet potatoes with olive oil, maple syrup, five spice, and some cinnamon. Then I'm adding in some chopped carrots and giving that a stir. Then I add in some red onions and make sure everything is evenly coated. Then I transfer the vegetables to a baking pan to roast at 425 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. Now I'm going to be preparing the miso maple tahini dressing. To a bowl, I'm adding some tahini, apple cider vinegar, and miso concentrate. I'm giving that a stir and then adding some olive oil and maple syrup. I was having trouble getting it to fully incorporate, so I ended up using my electric whisk. You could also do this in a blender as well. Finally, I added in some cinnamon and a bit of salt and pepper and mixed it up again. Now I'm going to be preparing my tempeh that I have already pre-steamed, which removes a bit of the bitterness and gives it a better flavor. I added the tempeh to a bowl and coated it in the miso tahini dressing. Then I transfer the tempeh to a baking pan and bake it for 25 minutes at 400 degrees. Next, to prepare my kale, I'm just massaging it with some olive oil to make it a little bit more tender and easier to digest. And now to assemble everything together, I'm adding in quinoa that I've already pre-cooked as well as the kale and the five spice roasted vegetables and our tempeh. Then I'm adding in some dried cranberries on top as well as vegan feta and finishing it off with the miso maple tahini dressing. And sometimes along with lunch, I love to have a kombucha. 
Now I'm going to be preparing another snack, which I might have till the end of my dancing day or on my commute home. This is multigrain crackers along with some guacamoles, along with some sort of fruit. Today I have apples. For lunch, I am making a really big salad with lots of beans and veggies. All you need to do is grab some fresh greens, some roasted red pepper, all nice and chopped up. I love adding cranberries to salad. It's a really good sweetness some red onion for some spicy flavor, and chickpeas, garbanzo beans are a great source of protein. Topping it off with some crumbled blue corn chips. This vegan goddess dressing is absolutely delicious and perfect, especially on a day when I'm feeling a little bit lazy and hungry and just wanna eat right away. Usually around three or four o'clock, I will get hungry again, and I love making this really quick, easy vegan hot chocolate. I put in a cup of milk in the microwave for one minute, add some cocoa powder, microwave it again for one minute. I really like the Silk Ultra Milk. It does have a lot of calories and a lot of protein, so it's really filling in the afternoon. And I'll usually pair that with some fruit, maybe an apple. So next I did potatoes, beans, basil, and onions. So I like to saute up the onions. I'm gonna add the potatoes next. Of course, I would like to put salt, pepper, different types of seasonings, and then the white beans. And then of course I put the like meat right alongside with it, pairs really well. It has been a little bit harder to gain muscle, maintain muscle. It's the challenge that actually interests me. And there are a lot of skeptics. Everybody's gonna think that you're gonna shrink and you can never become a bodybuilder. It's, it's simply not true. You just have to have the right numbers, hit your macros and you will grow. For dinner, I'm going to be making a chickpea salad sandwich along with some pumpkin lentil soup. I'm going to begin by assembling the chickpea salad first. I'm adding the chickpeas to a bowl and mashing them up thoroughly and then tossing in some chopped carrots, celery, and onion. Mixing it up again, then adding in some vegan mayo, pepper, and dried cilantro. Once everything is well combined, I'll move on to making the sandwich. I've toasted two pieces of bread and I'm adding vegan mayo to both slices. Topping with tomato, avocado, sprouts, lettuce, and finishing it off with the chickpea salad. I've also heated up some pre-made pumpkin lentil soup to serve with my sandwich. And this has to be one of my favorite recipes. It's so good after a long day. For dinner, I made a mix of veggies with rice and tofu. I'm gonna roast some cauliflower and broccoli add some olive oil, a pre-mixed masala powder. Turmeric is really good, it's an anti-inflammatory, so I really like eating that on the weekends, on my longer run days. I'm gonna roast that at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna make some quick air fried tofu to go with that. All I'm doing is dropping it in some whole wheat flour. I did well grease the pan, and I'm gonna put that into the air fryer for just about 15 minutes. So I just added some diced red onion, I'm actually using cast iron, which is really helpful for vegans because it actually adds iron into your food. And add in some mushrooms because I love mushrooms. They have such good flavor. These are just sliced baby bellas. And then I'm adding in some fresh sliced green pepper. I added in some fresh grated ginger. So it has really good flavor and lots of good healing properties for your body. Not a lot of steps. I like to keep it simple. I'm adding some brown rice. Topping it with the broccoli, cauliflower, the sauteed veggies, and the air fried tofu. For dinner, I can eat a giant plate. I'm pretty hungry by the end of the day. And I love just digging in. At night, I pretty much always eat a snack before I go to bed. I'm just burning so many calories as a runner throughout the day that I have to eat something. And you cannot go wrong with some dark chocolate chips and peanuts as a mix. It's the perfect bedtime snack. It's really filling and totally delicious. So next I did some brown rice, some roasted veggies, some white beans, and some more like meat. Just roasted up the veggies, put a little salt, throw them in the oven. I put it at 425. It's delicious. It never gets old. I have noticed a lot of differences since I've become fully plant-based. I definitely have a lot more energy. My skin is cleared up. I've built this muscular physique and I've been able to maintain it for the last two years on a plant-based diet. So it's definitely doable, guys. 